The American philosopher J.J. Thompson has proposed a thought experiment in defense of the right of abortion. The argument is supposed to work even if we accept that there is a fundamental right to life for all humans. At the center of the argument, there is a now famous thought experiment. Here it is in a nutshell. You wake up in the morning and find yourself back to back in bed with an unconscious violinist. A famous unconscious violinist. She has been found to have a fatal kidney ailment and you alone have the right blood type to help. Your circulatory system is now connected with the violinists so that her kidney does not fail. The director of the hospital now tells you, look, we're sorry that you've been brought into this situation. But disconnecting you now would mean the certain death of the violinist. For her to survive, you'll have to be connected for 9 months. Thompson now raises the question whether it would be wrong for you to decide to disconnect from the violinist. What if it were not 9 months, but 9 years? Or longer still? What if the director of the hospital says, Tough luck, I agree, but you've now got to stay in bed with the violinist plucked into you for the rest of your life. Because remember this, all persons have a right to life, and violinists are persons. Granted, you have a right to decide what happens in and to your body, but a person's right to life outweighs your right to decide what happens to you. So you can never be unplugged from her. Thompson takes it that most people will say that it is not wrong to disconnect from the violinist, even if it means killing her. But if killing the violinist in this case can be morally justified, why not abortion? If the cases really are parallel, then abortion should be morally justifiable, even if people have a right to life. That's the argument in a nutshell. The important question we have to ask now, of course, is whether there are relevant differences between the thought experiment and abortion. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below.